Okay, I'm on floor 23. Ione is blocked, so... I'm gonna try this without Remy first. I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, I'm gonna take off the gear from my Lucida. I don't know why she has this gear, but I'm gonna put on Claire because it always it's always nice to start with Fury. However, uh, I feel like I should probably bring in a row attacker um, because with the random formation of the eggs. You probably want to cover more options, so a row attacker might be interesting. So I could see Saint Ione being kind of useful here because she attacks in a row. Because a lot of the heroes I have right now attack in like 3x3 three three a column, so missing someone that hits in a row could prove to be quite uh, damaging to our team. So I'm going to try this, see how it works. Alright, so it's a place like this. Now... I have to leave this column here. And hmm, let me think about this. So I can get Zhao to single target, clear that one. Which I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably clear this row or this column and this column because I want again one column accessible so I can hit the the boss and then um, this column just to get rid of the mobs. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and see how that works. So that's one egg. And that's gonna be the second egg. So now I actually can't use any of the 3x3s. Which could prove to be kinda problematic. Um, so I can't really use shield in this case. So instead what I'm gonna do is uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't use a shield, so I'm going to move him out. I don't want... Because Drake hits in a column, he's probably going to aggro Michael, so I'm just going to hit like this. So this does mean that sword mains are kind of screwed here. And I'm not sure how hard the mobs hit, but I think they're all aggro towards Michael. Now the issue here is if they bewitch and destroy the eggs, there you go and you lose because you destroyed more than three. So, I think Remy should be used here um, because there's no way to provide a two-turn cleanse and because Ione is blocked, you don't have much of a choice. So, I'm going to bring in Ione, or, is she, or Remy, rather. And now that I know that you can't really use Sword Main, and they're going to aggro Michael anyway, I think I might bring in the Sita instead and remove PA um, gonna have to re-gear a bunch of people it's pretty much just like random gear I'm throwing on them so probably I'm gonna run that and we'll see how that works uh, Now I'm wondering if it's possible to actually leave some of the mobs alive because it looks like they're only going to target Michael and so they don't hit a 3x3 three three or like entire board kind of like uh, or like unlike floor 10 to floor 20 so it could mean and where's my Christine there we go okay it could mean that uh, we don't have we don't actually have to hit the mobs which means that we can just leave them there so i think i'm gonna try the same route that mob is probably gonna spawn here so i'm just gonna single attack this and we'll see how this works it does require a few playthroughs and this is like my second time running this so i'm not entirely sure if this is completely correct but hopefully it is Wait, I just realized you can't actually use Remy because otherwise Remy would actually destroy the egg. Unless you take off her weapon. So let me try that. I'm going to take off her weapon and see how that works. Because I don't really care about the heal. I'm more focused about getting the actual... Um, cleanse in. So let me take off the thing. 
see how much damage she does. Hopefully she doesn't destroy the egg. I'm not sure how much HP the eggs have either. Um, I'm not sure they programmed it to be like, you know, 1 HP, so if you hit it at all, like, with any kind of attack, you'll kill it. Or if it's, like, weak, but, like, still with a decent amount of HP. So, I'm probably going to run it like this because Michael's going to draw aggro. And... Actually, no, this is fine. As long as I get the cleanse out, it should be fine. Alright, so let's do this again. I wanna try... No, I'm gonna try the same tactic. I'm gonna hit this column instead because I think I can draw or get more fury that way. And... Let's see, can I target this specific mob there? Okay, I can. So now the issue is, if I run this cleanse, will it destroy the egg? Let's see. Only one way to find out. Okay, so I took off the the book, the tome, and it worked. Yeah, uh, the egg is still alive. So yeah, that could prove to be a possibility. Not exactly a bad idea. So I'm gonna try this and see how that goes. Attack. And the cleanse is already up, so there's no need to reapply it. But they are getting hit quite a bit, so I might move them outwards. And the uh, eggs aren't gonna die. And honestly, after the first turn where like the mobs are gone, you really don't need the cleanse anymore because uh, the bewitching only happens on the mobs, and because they're all dead, that's not gonna happen. So I can actually just move them out. I just realized. And I'm not gonna transform into mythic because it means that I'm gonna hit in a three by three. I want to maintain Lucida's skill. Yeah, this should work. Now, obviously, this same tactic won't work with Sword and Rain. You can't just remove his sword because otherwise his shield would just not do anything. Because his uh, attack is, or his shield is based on his attack, which in turn is based on the weapon he's using. So, there we go. Okay, floor 23 kind of solved it, but uh, I can start to see the problem uh, where like all the eggs are coming up. I think one advantage is using either cannon or bow uh, because you're able to target specific mobs which means that you don't have to clear an entire column or row to hit a specific mob. So that might prove to be useful information in the future. So I'm going to run at 24 and give it a shot and uh, I'll be back.